the bridge of a size tea hook. Another young woman has been driven to a notorious bridge and met her unfortunate fate in the water below. There is a disquieting tone of resignation or even inevitability throughout the grim words. The Bridge of Sighs One more unfortunate, weary of breath, rashly importunate, gone to her death. Take her up tenderly, lift her with care, fashioned so slenderly, young and so fair. Look at her garments clinging like cerements, whilst the wave constantly drips from her clothing. Take her up instantly, loving, not moving. Touch her not scornfully, think of her mournfully, gently and humanly, not of the stains of her, all that remains of her, now is pure womanly. Make no deep scrutiny into her mutiny, rash and undutiful, past all dishonor. Death has left on her only the beautiful. Still for all slips of hers, one of Eve's family, wipe those poor lips of hers, oozing so clamorly. Loop up her tresses, escaped from the comb, her fair auburn tresses, whilst wonderment guesses, where was her home? Who was her father? Who was her mother? Had she a sister? Had she a brother? Or was there a dearer one still, and a nearer one yet than all other? Alas, for the rarity of Christian charity under the sun, oh, it was pitiful, near a whole city full, whom she had none. Sisterly, brotherly, fatherly, motherly, feelings had changed. Love by harsh evidence thrown from its eminence, even God's providence seeming estranged. Where the lamps quiver so far in the river with many a light from window and casement, from garret to basement she stood with amazement, houseless by night. The bleak wind of March made her tremble and shiver, but not the dark arch or the black flowing river. Mad from life's history, glad to death's mystery, swift to be hurled anywhere, anywhere, out of the world. In she plunged boldly, no matter how coldly the rough river ran, over the brink of it, picture it, think of it, desolate man. Lay in it, drink of it, then if you can, take her up tenderly, lift her with care, fashion so slenderly, young and so fair. Air her limbs frigidly, stiffen too rigidly, decently, kindly, smooth and compose them, and her eyes close them, staring so blindly, dreadfully staring through muddy impurity, as when with the daring last look of despairing, fixed on futurity. Perishing gloomily, spread by costumily, cold in humanity, burning insanity, into her rest. Cross her hands humbly, as if praying dumbly, over her breast, owning her weakness, her evil behavior, and leaving with meekness her sins to her Savior.